Jacobs, the CEO of Qualcomm. We're here because of the Edison Achievement Awards and I'd like to introduce Paul and discuss with him a little bit about the Edison Achievement Awards and talk about uh, what this means to Qualcomm and some of the things they have in mind for the future. So first of all I want to I want to ask you Paul, the Edison Achievement Award really is intended to inspire people and to recognize those people who inspire innovation and who've been carrying this out. And Thomas Edison, many of us realize, is one of those people who was the innovator who kind of brought about the 20th century, and now we're trying to bring about the 21st. And I'd like to ask you first, what does the Achievement Award mean to you as this year's winner? It's an amazing thing to be associated with an inventor and an innovator like Thomas Edison. I mean, first of all, it's just such a high honor. Innovation and invention, it's something that I've always loved. It was uh, the thing that motivated me, and the thing that I love about it the most is you have this opportunity to, to change the world. And if this award can inspire other people to follow in Thomas Edison's uh, footsteps and, uh, and learn science, technology, engineering, math, those disciplines that allow you to really create something new, bring some new value, and to improve people's lives around the world with your ideas. That seems to me to be the most exciting thing that I can be involved with. But we like to ask people how would they want to be remembered? So what, what do you think your personal legacy will be in the end? What would you want it to be? You know, what I would really hope is that um, the technologies that I've worked on and will work on in the future really will have a global impact and improve people's lives. So to me, that's what I'd like to be remembered. The things that I worked on did improve the state of the world, did improve people's lives. And to have that kind of a global impact, I think that's something, you know, for, to be able to aspire to that, is a, that's a pretty, pretty high goal. So I, I know I've set a high goal for myself, but, uh, but that's how I feel. I really want to be able to improve the world.